In this video, we'll discuss UW component attachment in VSP. So let's take a look at these pods out here mounted underneath the wing and how they're attached to the component. Now notice that the origin of this part is located somewhere over here on the leading edge of the wing rather than back here at the origin. And that's because for these parts, I've defined that they are attached by UW on the surface of the wing. If we set this to component, notice that they snap back to the origin. If we set this back to UW, they go back to that location. Now the way that we define this is just like was discussed with the UW directions before. U has been set to the 0.5 location along the wing. Notice how this moves along the leading edge here. And W is the position around. Now at zero, we're at the trailing edge. As we move from zero to 0 0.5, we're underneath the wing. We go over the wing and back to the trailing edge. I want these attached to the leading edge of the wing, so I set that to 0.5. Now, if we zoom in a bit, we can see a bit more of what's going on. Translation is set to UW, but rotation is still set to component. And we'll see what difference that makes here in just a little bit. But the reason that you might want to do this if we take a look at the wing geometry, and let's snap to a front view here, let's go to the section tab, and now we're going to start adjusting the dihedral. If we start to move this, so the dihedral of the wing change, notice that the position of these pods is tracking along with that component. So they're maintaining the same relative distance from that control point on the wing, regardless of where that UW location is in space. It always tracks. Now, because we told it not to go in and adjust the twist, you can see that they're moving just a little bit because we're rotating about this quarter cord location. But for the most part, they're staying put. And notice that they are not rotating. Now, there's a different way of attaching this. If we look at this pod geometry here, that's a child of this center pod, we've told it no attachment in translation or rotation. Let's change this up a bit and attach it in both. Notice now that we've got zero relative change in rotation or translation on this component, and now it's aligned with that x-axis, which is tangent to the surface. If we start moving this around, you can see that it's moving around in W, but not in U. If we move in U, notice how it rotates so that that axis is always tangent to the surface. Now this can become a very powerful tool when you want to attach things perpendicular to a surface or at a certain angle. If you know that you want an antenna mounted at a certain angle relative to the surface, you can still come in and tell it that you want a specific rotation, say 90 degrees here. And if you start moving along, notice that this is now always perpendicular to the surface. Similarly, we can go around and we can combine this. So there's a number of different ways that you can attach these components in VSP using UW coordinate space. And you can very cleverly combine both component and UW translation and attachment and rotation to create these really interesting interactions between your components.